love this. And, and man, forty dollars faithful forever. He asked this: Does Croft signing mean Dwelly is a practice squad bound player? All right, let, let, let's jump there. Let's go there. Great question. The 49ers go out and sign Tyler Croft, tight end. Um, he was with Buffalo for a while. He was with the Jets for a while. They bring him in on a one-year deal. There's a lot of tight ends on this roster currently. Uh, there really, really are. Kittle, stole him away. He's number one. Warner, he's number two-ish. Um, after that, Ross Dwelly, Tanner Hudson, Troy Fumagalli. Um, you also have Jordan Matthews, who the 49ers have had around as kind of like a pet project, the conversion from wide receiver to tight end. But Dwelly lost so many snaps. You know, I, I put out a tweet once the sign was taken, uh, once they signed him, and it said something to the effect of, man, that tight end two spot is going to be a heavy competition battle, just like the majority of the 49ers roster. And I didn't put Dwelly's name on it. I don't even think he's in contention for the tight end two spot. Even though he used to have it, he lost that. Um, his snap count completely disappeared down the stretch in the playoff run, um, even before the playoffs. Charlie Warner took that spot from him. So what does this Croft signing mean? One, it insulates you from injury. That's number one. And the 49ers continue to build this high-end competition on the back end of their roster. It used to, we would go into this and say, okay, here's our number one, number two, number three tight end. Nope, not this year. There's three different guys that could win that tight end three job. I think Tyler Croft has the best chance of securing the tight end three job, but doesn't mean he will. Troy Fumagalli, he, he's a fun guy to watch. Tanner Hudson got decent amount. He's probably going to be you know a practice squad guy uh, based on the contract. He got that 895 number, which is basically like, hey, we'll pay you basically a guaranteed full year. You sign with us, uh, practice squad, we got you covered. But Croft, I don't think he's a practice squad guy. And I fully expect Croft to win that tight end three spot. But now what happens is if you have an injury, you're okay. Now, there's a big difference injury to Kittle than somebody else. But, yes, you know, my pecking order right now is, is Kittle by a landslide, Warner by a landslide. Then it's going to be no holds barred all these guys afterwards. Croft probably being ahead of everybody, then Twilly, then Fumagalli. I don't know what to do with Jordan Matthews. I know they love him. He's kind of like number 27 on the offensive side. What that looks like, where he's going to go. Uh, I, I don't know. I think they like having him in the locker room, and I think eventually he'll be a coach. Do I think that he's going to get meaningful snaps? I think that he is basically a Kittle wide receiver type replacement. If that, like, that's it. In case of emergency, break Jordan Matthews' glass, and so you would bring him in just as a receiving component. Um, but again, that that's just me. Like, it, there's been no camp reports. There's been no, you know, that's not. Shanahan, that's not Lynch. That's just me. Uh, that, that's what I think that they're keeping him for, just stashing away. If something happens to Kittle, you put him in there as a receiving option only. That's my guess. Uh, again, you take that for what you want.